welcome back again to our channel. So for today's video lesson, we are going to have the slope of a line. So let us have once again a math nalo moment with me, your teacher, Ma'am Corrin. So for this video lesson, we have the following objectives. You will be able to first illustrate the slope of a line and find the slope of a line given two points, equation, and graph. So actually, slopes are everywhere. We can see them in roads, in our staircase, in the ramps for the disabled. It is also associated with mountains as well as the roof of our houses. So actually, slope is what we call the steepness. In Tagalog, uh, yung pagiging matari. And it, it also pertains to the slantness of a line. So to further understand the slope of a line, let us define it. The slope M of a line is the ratio of the change in the Y coordinates to the corresponding change in the X coordinates. So it is simply the change in Y over the change in X. And as you would notice, slope is represented by letter M. When we discuss or when you have your discussion in physics or in science, distance is represented by letter D. Speed is represented by letter S, velocity by V. This time, slope is letter M. Why is that so? Why not letter S? So maybe speed will be confused with slope. That's why we are going to use M. But it is universal. This is not my pahana or whatsoever. So according to some references, M, we use M for slope. Since the French word for going up is monter. So that is the reason why we have M for slope. So again, slope is the change in Y corresponding to the change in X. So in symbols, we may write it as delta Y over delta X. Delta means change. If we are asked to have the slope of a line given its graph, we can easily get the slope by first determining two points. So if we have here two points, we identified two points from that graph, we simply count the number of changes in the y coordinates, and that will be considered as rise and we are also going to count the changes in x, and that is what we call run. So, slope is actually the rise over the run of a line. We have three ways in order for us to determine the slope of a line depending on the given. So, for the first one, we are going to find the slope of a line in a graph. So this time, determine natin kung paano ba kumuha ng slope when the graph of the linear equation was given. So this is the graph of the first example. Sabi ko kanina, you're going to choose two points in that line or in that graph. Notice that I chose two points wherein they are located exactly at the grid. Kasi pag pipili kayo, dapat integer siya, meaning walang decimal part or fractional part for us to easier count the number of changes in y and changes in x. So, let us count the number of changes or units from the first point going to the second point. Una muna ang lagging movement ay along the y-axis or going upward or downward, tapos left or right. So, baliktad ngayon kasi diba no, when we discuss coordinates, x muna. But when it comes to slope, ang inuuna natin ay the change in y. So, we have 3 units here and then going to 
The second point, we have 9 units. Meaning, our slope, the rise over run, so we have 3 over 9. And if we are going to get the lowest term of this one, slope now is equal to 1 third. Notice that the slope that we solve is positive. And the graph from left to right, if you are going to read it, it is increasing. Actually, positive slopes are increasing. So, ganito yung itsura kapag ang nasolve nyo ay positive ang slope. Kung siya ay magiging slant, eh di dun lang magba magbabago-bago yung slope. Pero the figure, it must be increasing from left to right. So this time, let us have the second example, which is the opposite of what we have on the first one. So again, you pick two points from the graph and then count the number of change in y over the change in x. So we count from here, so we have five units since the movement is downward. So, we are going to affix the negative sign. And then from that point, let, let us go to the second point of our slope. So, that is 7 units. So, for the slope, we have negative 5 over 7. But what if we are going to use from the point here, up to this point, up to the other. So, do we have the same slope? So, let us see. So, if we are going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, still it's 5. And, since the movement is going up, so it must be positive 5. Then, we count the number of units again going to the second point. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, since we are going or the direction is going to the left, so we are going to use negative. So, our slope this time is 5 over negative 7. And actually, there is no difference between negative 5 over 7 or 5 over negative 7. Or pwede nyo isulat, negative 5 over 7. Nasa gitna yung negative. They are all equivalent. Now, notice that the given slope or what we have solved is negative. And if we are going to read the graph again from left to right, this time that is decreasing. So, negative slopes are actually decreasing. For a third example, as you would notice, we have a horizontal line. So again, we pick two points. If we are going to count the rise or the change in y coordinates, so it's zero. Kasi well, same lang din naman sila ng y coordinates. And if we are going to count the x coordinates, we have seven. So if we are going to solve for the slope, that is 0 over 7. And 0 divided by any number will give us correct. That is 0. So definitely, when we have a horizontal line, the slope is always equal to 0. This time, we have a vertical line. So again, let us pick two points. And from that two points, let us count the change in y or y coordinates. So we have 6 units. How about the run? So since they have, they have the same x coordinate, which is 5, so that is 0. So we have now 6 over 0. And any number divided by 0 is correct. That is undefined. So, meaning vertical lines have slopes which are undefined. So, all vertical lines have the slope which are undefined. 
So we were able to determine the slope given its graph and at the same time, we were able to define or determine the four types of slope. So what are they? So for the first one, and it ain't sure niya. So that is positive and from left to right, it is increasing. For the second one, we have the reverse. So that will be negative and it is decreasing. For the third stop, we have this one, and that is a horizontal line which has a slope of zero. And then lastly, we have a vertical line. What is the slope? Correct. That is undefined. So those are the four types of slope. For the second part, we are going to find the slope given the two points. Actually, we already have two points a while ago. So, even though the coordinates are given this time, pwede ganun din yung gawin nyo. I-graph nyo yung two points sa Cartesian plane, tapos you count the number of units, and that will be your slope. But, medyo time-consuming kasi yun, unlike with this one. So, I'll be introducing to you this time, the slope formula. So, in determining the slope, if the coordinates of two points on a line are x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, the slope m can be found as m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Actually, we simply write a formula based from its definition. Sabi ko kanina, that is change in y coordinates. So, di ba nung nag-discuss dati ng velocity, when we have the change in velocity, that is p sub 2 minus the initial velocity. So, ganun lang din dito. We have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And, be reminded that x sub 1 must not be equal to x sub 2. Why? Yan. Yun yung ginawa natin kanina, which is vertical line. So, magiging ang slope niya kasi ay undefined if the values of x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the same. So, this time, we are going to determine the slope given the coordinates of points by applying the slope formula. So again, the slope formula is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. To easily identify, we must write the x sub 1, y sub 1 here. And then, for the second coordinate, that is x sub 2, y sub 2. So, what is the value of y sub 2? So, that is 6 minus y sub 1, which is 1, over x sub 2, which is 4, minus x sub 1, which is negative 2. So, let us simplify. 6 minus 5, 1 is 5 over 4 minus negative 2. So, this will become positive. 4 plus 2 will give us 6. So, even though we are not graphing this slope, I, we know that the graph is increasing. You may have the same given, but if you alter para mas mukhang madaling tingnan si x sub 2, y sub 2, pwede rin naman. So, try natin. x sub 2, y sub 2 will be negative 2 and 1. And then, the other one, for x sub 1, y sub 1, it's 4, 6. So, again, slope formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, this time, our y sub 2 is 1 minus our y sub 1, which is 6, over x sub 2, that is negative 2, minus x sub 1, which is 4. And 1 minus 6 will give us negative 5 
over negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Negative 5 over negative 6, if we are going to simplify this one, that is 5 over 6. So we have m is equal to 5 over 6. So either way, our answer is correct. As long as the coordinates are with the, their pair. Say for example, we have x sub 1, y sub 1, and then the other one must be x sub 2, y sub 2. So maalin. Kahit alin doon sa coordinates na gawin yung x sub 1 at y sub 1 at x sub 2 at y sub 2. As long as dapat sila yung magka-partner. Let's have another example. So we have here negative 1, 5 and 3, negative 2. So again, we have the slope formula which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, pwede natin sulit muna, x sub 1, y sub 1, and then we have x sub 2, y sub 2. So, y sub 2 is negative 2 minus y sub 1, which is 5, over our x sub 2, which is 3, minus x sub 1, that is negative 1. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Then we have 3 minus negative 1. So that will become positive if you are going to multiply the sign. So this is over 4. So our slope now is negative 7 over 4. Or we may do again the reverse. So ito naman gawin natin x sub 2, y sub 2. Tapos si 3 negative 2, yun naman ang gawin natin x sub 1, y sub 1. So, m now, again, is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Ang y sub 2 natin is 5 minus our y sub 1 which is negative 2. Over, we have x sub 2 which is negative 1 minus x sub 1 which is 3. So, 5 minus negative 2 will give us correct that is 7 and then negative 1 minus 3 will have negative 4 so just like what i've mentioned in our previous discussion a negative sign kapag fraction pwedeng nasa numerator denominator or gitna they mean the same thing so without graphing we know that the slope is decreasing The third way in order for us to determine the slope is using its equation. So I have here 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. Actually, we have what we call the slope intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. We're going to identify what is b in our upcoming lesson. Pero yung m, that is our slope. So we need to have this form para makuha natin ang slope. So, our given is 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. So, kagaya nung nauna nating lesson, ililipat or we are going to transpose or apply the addition property of equality. So, 3y, we simply copy 3y kasi kailangan si, 3, si y ay nasa left side. So, yung term na may x ay mapapapunta sa right side. So, we need to change sign. So, that will be negative 2x. And the 9 is positive. We copy that. So, we have 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. Since in our form, walang kasamang numerical coefficient si y. So, we divide both sides of the equation by 3. And actually, that is, again, multiplication property of equality. Nag-multiply actually tayo ng one-third in both sides, pero ang pinapakita natin ay simply division para mas madali tayong magkaintindihan. So, 3y divided by 3, that is y. And then, negative 2x divided by 3 will give us negative 2 third x plus 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. So, since nasa slope intercept form na siya, so, m now is equal to negative 2 third. Pag ganun lang kasimple, 
ang pagkuwap ng slope using the equation. Let's have this one. 4y minus 2x is equal to 8. So, ganun ulit. By applying the APE, so, we're going to transpose 2x to the other side. So, magiging na siyang positive. So, we have 2x plus 8. And then, yes, we divide both sides of the equation by 4. Para mawala ang numerical coefficient ni y. So, we have the value of y is equal to 2 divided by 4. Correct? We have 1 half x, weathering x over 2. Plus, 8 divided by 4 will give us 2. So, what is the value of the slope now? Correct. That is 1 half. So, actually, that is all for today. I hope you learned something about slope. So, again, we have three ways in order for us to find the slope. Given kung siya ay graph, kung two points, o haya equation. I also hope that you have a math nalo moment with me again, Ma'am Karen. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone.